Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Before we get into your reading, Gemini, I want to give you guys a quick update. I want to apologize. I know we are a bit behind on our readings. We have um, tons of new videos coming for you guys as well as I'm going to be starting the series um, in regards to uh, tarot interpretation. So you guys definitely stay out on the lookout for that. Um, I will be updating you guys um, as far as projects that I'm currently working on. But anyways, for now, let's get into your reading, Gemini. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for this month of August 2021. Now, your first card here is the Hermit. We have the Seven of Pentacles, the Queen of Wands, the Eight of Cups, the Knight of Pentacles, Five of Wands, Knight of Wands, Karma card, Empress, and the Sun card. Wow, beautiful energy. So we're starting off. Um, we're starting off internalizing. You guys are currently being guided. It's almost like uh, you may be seeing a lot of synchronicities, a lot of angel numbers, um, a lot of coincidences. Is what I'm hearing. That's what your brain is perceiving, anyways. But there's no such thing as coincidence. Now, the obstacle to overcome is the Seven of Pentacles. It's stop looking or living or reliving the past. This is about being confident and walking with purpose. You do have the Queen of Wands. You may be dealing with a fire energy, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. You may also be dealing with an earth energy, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Um, I see for some of you guys, there was a situation where you were dealing with someone um, that kept popping in and out of your life. This could be a person from your past. Um, and you were hopeful or perhaps looking to, uh, wanting to believe that there was possibilities of being able to stabilize that connection or to make something come from that connection. Um, with the Five of Wands, though, I feel that this person has a tendency of not really being able to focus. Um, I feel that this person is very distracted or they have many options. With the Eight of Cups, you decided to walk away from this connection. For some of you guys, it could have left you feeling like uh, this person was hot and cold and you decided to just drop the BS and walk away from that, choosing yourself or choosing your peace of mind. Now, with the Knight of Wands here in the Karma, I feel that they're coming back around Gemini. Uh, for some of you guys, this could be a person that uh, really pulled on your heartstrings. Um, it's almost like even being able to see them like in their darkness, uh, they could do no they could do no wrong. You kind of put them on a high pedestal uh, without really seeing seeing them for who they really were. I feel that there's a lot of inconsistency with this person and it has primarily a lot to do with immaturity. Now this could be you as well, Gemini. It is a general energy, a general reading. Um, but what they are seeing here is that if it was you, the one that walked away, you made the right choice. Um, with the karma and the Knight of wands, I feel this person may be coming back around or trying to reconnect with you. Doesn't necessarily have to be love and romance. This could be a friend. This could be a person, a colleague, someone that you were close to, uh, but there was a falling out. And with the karma, you're being um, tempted to revisit that of the past as we do have it here in the obstacle to overcome. But with the Empress and the Sun card, what they're telling you here is um, you've outgrown this connection. You've outgrown this situation. Uh, focusing primarily on what it is that um, what you allow those to come around you the energy that they bring in if it's a person that is inconsistent and they've proven that to you in the past nothing much has changed they will continue on this behavior because again we go back to immaturity um, and you're above this Gemini so what they're telling you here is know that you are the prize know your worthiness um, do not settle for anything less even if you feel like at some point uh, this person gave it 70% of all the qualities that you looked for in a partner. It's still not 100%. And you don't have to settle um, thinking that, you know, 80% 80, 80 is better than nothing at all. Because what they're telling you here is you will 
attract that which you believe you carry or you are worthy of so again with the empress and the sun card there is a hidden message here and the hidden message is anything that was left um unsaid or undone in the past they may be coming back around but it doesn't mean that they're giving you the go as they are showing me here there may be competition or they may be dealing with multiple people and what they're telling you here is karma is a representation of the past popping up again but it's knowing and standing in your power with the empress card here knowing your worthiness um, choosing who you allow to get close to you and with the sun card there is protection illumination uh, a partnership or a connection that will be coming through for you um, or this could even represent the blessing of itself a relationship uh, unfortunately I don't see it with this person what they are showing me here is again knowing that you deserve better you deserved to be treated much better uh, and it's okay to have high standards um, a lot of the times you'll find you know friends or people around you tell you well maybe you're asking for too much you're not asking for too much if you are asking for what you're willing to put in in a relationship or in a connection so again don't let other people uh, bring you down or change your way of seeing things or uh, especially when it comes to self-love which is crucial and very important at this present time what they're telling you here is for the month of august it's going to be very important to learn to value yourself and to learn to love yourself to choose um the people that you to be more particular in the choosing of the people you allow around you as i do see that you may have a tendency of dealing with people that are extremely selfish people that often take take but when it comes to you it's kind of like they either forget or they don't want to be there for you and with the sun card and the empress this is illumination knowing your worthiness knowing what you deserve um and you being in the right if there was a falling out um, so again, if you feel that at some point, I apologize, um, if you feel that at some point there was a falling out and the other person on the other end is expecting you to reach out or to try to contact or to smoothen uh, that situation where they're telling you to stand your ground, uh, you've done that enough. Now it's time for them to meet you halfway. Okay, my lovelies? I hope that this gives you guidance, understanding, wisdom, and knowledge. We'll see each other soon. Bye.